welcome to the Humor Improvement Network. Welcome to Cut Corners Construction, where we cut the corners so you don't have to. Uh, today, we're going to be installing this back VP tonneau cover on a 2005 Ford F-150, which I think is probably the nicest vehicle out here. Yeah, right. So, here we go. When you get your back VP tonneau cover, it'll come in a box like this. Wow, so you can see that back packages their product really well. So the packaging looks like it's it's uh, hold up to some abuse, don't you think, Chris? I think so, yes. Yes. Okay, you're gonna need some tools for this installation. Uh, 9 16 socket with a ratchet and a box end wrench. So these are the brackets. These are the brackets that will be holding down the... The rails? Rails. All right, let's see how this goes together here. I think uh, if you follow the instructions properly, it shouldn't be any problem. But here at Cut Corners Construction, we don't really need instructions, do we? I mean, don't we kind of already know everything? Yeah, we just cut corners. We're just removing the rails from the packaging. Chris, as you can see, he's already got his out. So we're uh, right. loosening the clamps here. Loosen up the clamps. Install our rails. And is this nice. just one rail? Or is this? This looks like just one, Chris. There must be one more rail somewhere. Oh yeah. I think we're putting this on, these on backwards. Oh. Backwards. Did you notice I'm not the one up here actually installing these and I, we've just found out that they put the rails on the wrong side so I'm going to get involved now and it'll go a lot smoother from here on out. Now if you notice on these clamps there's there's grooves in them. If you look right here there's there's some grooves. Do you want to make sure this is loose enough? where it can fully clamp around those those grooves and it actually will lock into those to those grooves. When you're installing the clamps you want to make sure especially if you've got a bed liner or a trim piece on top that you're grabbing the metal of the truck and not just the trim piece. One more to go. We have the tracks in place after taking them off and reinstalling them twice. Jesus inspected this. This is going to be a good tonneau cover. I mean, if he inspected it, the best kind you can get. These, uh, it's locked. That's going to fold down under that and then yeah, kind of screw so. up through We're taking this hardware and we've got this thing popping through here. You screw that. All right, so, other side. Like, open the bed of your truck, grab, there's a, there's a wire right here. You simply pull that, it latches open. Again, it's locked. Pull it again, swings open. 
and pull it again, swings open again. Gives you full access to your truck bed. And if you want to be able to drive with it open, say you want to have furniture in here, you can easily pull this little support arms out, undo this, that slides down, tighten it, tighten it in place, and your tonneau cover is nice and sturdy. Look at this. So much more better. It's got so much more options in his truck. Sunroof. What else has it got? <laughs> but I got the parking sensors on the back. Not that I really need them. Another really good thing about the uh, the back tonneau covers, like many other tonneau covers, is you can use them with Ford's bed extenders. I've got a bed extender here. And as you can see, the tonneau cover can still close like that. Or if you want to be able to flip this around, you can. Lock your bed extender into place. And your back VP tonneau cover closes right over it. More from Cut Corners Construction.